y'all how is everybody doing today so I wanted to kind of show you guys some things that we're going to get um, you already know that I have a new case that I already bought the thermal take view um, and I've been kind of hinting that I'm going to do a build in it uh, that's basically what I've been doing for the last year I find a case I like I buy it I show it to you guys and then I do a video like this where I talk about, hey, these are the parts that I'm going to buy for the build. And then we get the parts in. And then I do a video where I usually show you guys the parts firsthand. And then we usually do the build. Um, that's kind of my style. Um, I'm not the typical YouTube tech channel stuff. So I, I kind of like to be a little different. You know, I like all my builds to be kind of extravagant and fancy. Uh, so that's just how I go about things um, and I and I think it's helped me gather a lot of subscribers you and I appreciate you for watching uh, the first thing that we're going to buy is the thermal take Pacific WS 7 plus 16 8 million freaking colors it's hundred and ten bucks um, it works for both the newer 10th gen platforms and it'll work for the AM4 which is great so that way I can use it in multiple builds on on multiple chipsets so it it's not just spe specific wow not just specific for one thing plus I like the look I like the black I like the polished look uh, like that that gun kind of polished look and then I like how you can see the acrylics clear and the lights it just it's a nice looking um, CPU water block and I think it's going to go great in our new build that we're going to do. Especially since it's a thermal take case and we're going to be sticking with thermal take parts. Um, which brings me to my next thermal take part. Uh, I need to get some faster RAM. The, the 10th gen Intel platforms require at least a 4000 megahertz frequency on the RAM. Enable for you to completely unlock the chipset. Right now, I think I'm running 3600 megahertz, which is fine. It still does quite well, but I want that next level. So I've been looking at the, well, like I said, the thermal take. We're sticking with the thermal take. I've been looking at the RAM for them. This is their RGB RAM. It's a 4400 megahertz and it's two 8 gig sticks. So it's a 16 gig kit for $170. Now, I do have to buy two of these so it's not just oh it's hundred seventy dollars and you're good no it's I have to do that twice so you're talking like three hundred and what three hundred forty bucks something like that hundred seventy hundred seventy fourteen three hundred and forty bucks around that yeah around that which is a lot to spend just on RAM uh, but that if you want to go big you got to play big and you got to pay the big so but anyway this is the stick of RAM kit that we're going to go with um, I definitely think the vision that I have in my mind of what the case is going to look like is starting to come together uh, and that's kind of what has to happen I have to have the idea in my mind before I can build it so I'm also going to need one of these this is the thermal take AC 045 it's their uh, their premium extension riser cable it's long enough because that's what the case recommends the case recommends a 300 millimeter length riser cable so thermal take has one it's branded thermal take that's what we're going to use only problem is is it's 70 dollars but i hoping that this cable will last me a long time and i'll be able to repeat it and use it in multiple multiple builds so hopefully we'll get a lot of use out of it so uh, you know I don't mind so much the price as long as it's not crap can't be crap um, we're going to run more than one radi or a radiator huh. we're going to run more than one reservoir in our build uh, we already bought this um, borrow t-virus reservoir um, it's the one that's currently in my Titan rig build um, but I want to run dual in the new case. Um, I think two of these side by side all lit up is going to look awesome. 
I mean, it's going to look awesome. And, you know, I don't want to brag or anything, but I think I build pretty good looking computers. I think I do a really damn good job at building watered custom built computers. I get questioned, I get comments like, I don't even understand how you're even able, I've actually had people say that they didn't believe that I actually built it. Like, you don't show your work, you don't show yourself building it. And I'm like, dude, there are tons of my videos out there where I do show me physically building the dang thing. So, I don't know. It, it just frustrates me sometimes when I put a lot of time and effort into a build and then somebody tries to discredit me on it. Um, that I don't like so much. This is the new, I'm sorry, not the new. This case is like 15 years old, but to me, um, I've been having my eye on this case. I actually have this case out in the garage, but, um, it's not complete. I'm missing some panels on it. And usually people want like 200 bucks for this case. Well, somebody is selling it right now for 70 bucks and I'm going to jump on that and buy this. Um, unfortunately, I only think they got one in stock, whatever, but this is going to be a new upcoming build. I really like this case. This was actually like one of my very first cases that I had probably 10 or 11 years ago. Um, it's a beautiful case. I, I think it's just aesthetically pleasing. It's very functional and, uh, it just, it kind of reminds me of, you know, going over buddy's houses, picking this thing up and throwing it in the back seat and going to friends' houses and playing video games at their house. Uh, it just has a lot of good memories on that. Speaking of cases, this is the new Apiva case. Um, I want to do a like $600 budget kind of friendly build. Most of my builds that I do are in the thousands of dollar range. Um, and I know most people can't build those. So I want to build something that, that you could build and I'm still going to add my twist to it. I always say that I need to add my twist to it. The, the tech PCs twist, the Don, which is who I am. I'm Don. If y'all don't know that, that's my name, Don. Um, I like to put my twist on the things. I like to just take it and add it one more step, add one more glamour, add one more awesomeness to the build i hate basic builds um i hate them everybody builds in a box a typical box but nobody ever wants to like add extra shit to them just crazy things like i'm thinking about this case i want to add the reservoir and the water and everything on the outside of this case but it's going to look professional is sick. I mean, it's going to look so good. Like this side image on the back side where the 120 millimeter fan is, um, you could have like a pump and reservoir mounted to the back side there. And you could have like some gauges down at the bottom and we could maybe put like an LCD screen down there. Um, so I got I kind of have some good ideas, but I want to keep it budget friendly for you guys. So that way you can build one too. It's you don't want to be too expensive. My wife wants me to do a build with her, which I told her I would. So I'll, I'll, I'll get around to it. But anyway, um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys. This is what I'm buying. Uh, this stuff right here, I'm going to take out of the cart. I, don't, I was just looking at some of this stuff. I definitely want this tool at the bottom, the handheld tool. Uh, let's see here. Here's another case that I want to buy and build in. Um, I was stuck between the, the case I just showed you and this one. And I think I'll take the other one. The other one just looks way better to me. So we'll go with that one. Um, but anyway, I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I'm up to. What we're going to get. What, what's coming. This is what's coming. Um, and I hope you guys like it. So make sure to get subscribed. And for my current people that have been subscribed, I appreciate you so much. Thank you very much for watching my channel and supporting me. Um, it means a lot to me when you guys comment, um, so please comment, um, and thank you. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all a lot. Y'all be cool.